everybody. Um, I'm Dr. Lori Arnold. So if you don't know me, some of you guys know who I am. Um, a couple of you are my, my clients. And so um, I'm a PharmD. I have my doctorate in pharmacy degree and I'm board certified in natural medicine. Um, I'm bringing this topic to you guys because nutrigenomics has become one of my, uh, I've become a big nerd about it. And it's something that I'm getting really, really um, interested in and have started uh, doing more research on it and trying to get to the bottom of some of this information. And funny enough, um, I was sitting here reviewing stuff as I was waiting for the session to start today. And I pulled out my board certification materials from a forum from 2011. And so that's what I was, you probably noticed I was looking down at my, my paper. That's what this is. This was my, my actual board certification stuff. And there was two sessions I attended that had to do with nutrigenomics. And what was cool about that is the fact that back in 2011, this was something that they were just starting to touch on just a tiny little bit, but now it's becoming bigger buzzwords and we're seeing 23andMe. There's several companies who do um, genetic testing. We look for genetic SNPs. We can learn how to modify factors and enzymes based off of nutrigenomics. And so um, it's kind of led me on a quest also to improve my patient care with the people that I'm currently taking care of and to find better ways and mechanisms how to take care of those patients that I currently have and future patients I may have as well. And also, um, I'm a toxic mold survivor. And so because of that, I have high levels of oxidative stress in my body and I probably will for the rest of my life. So I have to find ways to take better care of myself and optimize my health and wellness. Um, so as a result, I'm always looking for the next best thing for myself to keep myself young and healthy and not looking like I'm in my 40s. So that's always a, always a good thing without using too much Botox. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll still use Botox, but just not too much, right? <laughs> um, and I haven't had any wine yet, so no respiratory. In fact, we're talking about I have a clock out here, so have, haven't gotten that far yet. That's so I just want to let you guys know that there's going to be a series of these webinars. So this is the first in the series that has to do with oxidative stress, oxidative damage, free radical damage, and we're gonna kind of go over that topic. Um, we will talk product specific in this uh, webinar. As with all the webinars, I will try to talk product specific. One of the things I found most frustrating when I went through my board certification in natural medicine was we were presented with lots of issues, tons of issues of what we would deal with when we were dealing with patients. However, they wouldn't give us the solutions. And so when we wouldn't get the solutions, and I want product specific, because if it works for you and your patient, I wanna know exactly what it is you're using on your patient. I don't wanna know an equivalent that may not work as well. I wanna know exactly what's gonna work. And so if you hear that, it is um, a product that we're gonna be mentioning and talking about today, but it is a specific pathway that is related to nutrigenomics. Again, this is first in the series, we're gonna have many more in this series that have to do with many more topics in nutrigenomics. So we're excited about that. So that was a long-winded introduction and I apologize because we're already late to start, but I wanna introduce you to my partner in crime um, who's gonna be doing a lot of these different webinars with me as we can move along. Um, this is Amy Homewood and she is actually a dynamo when it comes to being a businesswoman. She's very successful. And she meets with doctors from around, not just the country, but around the world. She's global. So I'm, I kind of want to be like her when I grow up. So um, I want to be traveling around the world like she does, educating people and making life better for other people. Interestingly enough, though, Amy also is a survivor of Lyme disease. So for 20 years, she's been struggling with Lyme disease, which has put her on the same track as me to be a wellness warrior. So we don't do things the traditional way. We look for things that are the non-traditional way that are actually going to be safer for us and that are going to get us better results. So I'm going to kind of turn this over to Amy. You're going to hear us. We're going to be moderating this together. So just notice that we're going to take parts and do different parts. If you guys have questions, let us know. But we kind of are just going to kind of follow along and, and do our slide uh, program. And if Amy, if there's anything you want to say. Go ahead. Great. Thank you, Lori. And it's always such an honor to work with you. And I've always um, just, and it's been a few months now, actually maybe longer than that, that we've been getting to know each other. And it's, I'm looking forward to you sharing how we met and why we came back together again. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. But um, we're gonna, can you hear me okay? 
You guys, give me a thumbs up because you're looking kind of like you guys. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, so I'm gonna I'm going to go through some slides with you guys on this nutrigenomics topic. And one of the things, I'll just give you a little bit of my background. As Lori was saying, I've had Lyme disease for 20 years. And so that kind of led me into different modalities that were beyond just the traditional Western medicine, which was just to destroy my body with antibiotics, which is just the only way really to kind of get a hold of that bacteria in the body. But from that, I learned so much about different supplements and um, from the top doctors all over the world and came to a place where I was doing pretty well, but I wasn't 100%, and I'm 55 now, and I was aging faster. And one of the things that I was just so surprised in was that there was just so little information that was being given to me on how I could really heal. So I got pretty curious and started doing research and ended up going to a lot of these um, anti-aging conferences, which is really something we're gonna be talking about tonight, which is the reason that we age and how to slow that down. And which is what Lyme disease does in the body is it ages you prematurely. You, it creates a lot of inflammation, arthritis, and uh, brain fog, and literally causes diseases like Parkinson's and dementia, and p potentially multiple sclerosis, they're saying, is, is just advanced Lyme disease. So anyway, so needless to say, I've been very passionate about trying to get better. I have a young child and, you know, was married for the second time with a a guy that I want to be around with for a long time. So anyway, so we're going to talk about nutrigenomics, oxidative stress, and something called NRF2 or NRF2 activation. And that is what um, got me so excited about disrupting an industry, which is the antioxidant industry. And so I want to talk a little bit about um, disrupting an industry, but we're going to be making some potentially disease claims, it might sound like, but we can't do that because what we're going to talk about does not have any FDA approval. It's nutraceutical supplements that we're going to be talking to you guys about, NRF2 activators. We um, cannot prevent, cure, treat any disease with anything that we're saying. So I just want to make that clear because I am recording this and we can make this available to you guys to hand, you know, to work with your other practitioners and maybe your clients too. So disrupting an industry is to radically change something by introducing a new product or service. And basically, usually with something that's already in place. So right now, we know that the antioxidant industry is that vitamin industry and all the supplements. And it's huge. It's one of the biggest economic trends in world history is people are very interested in ways to heal the, heal the, heal the body naturally. And what we're going to talk to you guys about tonight is going to radically change that industry because of the new technology that's available to test people in ways that were not available in the in the past to, that would show how someone could reduce free radical damage and oxidative stress in the body. And so I know Lori being a PharmD and being in um, the pharmacy industry and also working in hospitals and things like that, that this is something that you're really passionate about talking about this slide. Oh yeah, I love this. And, and it was very perceptive of Thomas Edison to actually make this claim a long time ago that the doctor of the future will prescribe no drugs, but will interest his patients in the care and nutrition of the human frame and the cause of prevention and of the prevention of disease. And this is, this is something I deal with, especially now since I've left traditional pharmacy practice, is it's an uphill battle. Um, and one of the disclaimers I like to give, because as health coaches, as wellness warriors, I know somebody had mentioned when I said that last time, they really liked that I said that, but we are wellness warriors. One of the things that we have that's it's going to be an uphill battle for a very long time is the fact that traditional doctors who are traditionally trained in traditional medical schools, which is all of them, if they're not a, a naturopath, they're traditionally trained, traditionally trained pharmacists like myself who haven't seen the light. And I say, I saw the light. And that's why I left my job. We did not learn this in school. We learned the diagnosis of disease using all the techniques that modern medicine can give us. And we also learned about how to give medications because that's what we do because our books are bought and paid for by the pharmaceutical industry. So we have to use industry standards. Um, and so it's a constant battle because doctors don't know what they don't know. That's the nicest way to put it. I try not to be rude about what doctors don't know. They just don't know what they don't know. And they come from a fear-based place. So when we're a wellness coach and we're trying to teach them and educate them, whether it be on nutrigenomics or some other healing modality and topic, which is something that I do on a daily basis and interact with physicians too, is to try to teach them that there is another school of thought and that this actually is not 
the voodoo witch doctor medicine that they may think that this is. This is actually the real apothecary type of medicine. This is the real original medicine, and, and this, this is real medicine. And so, yes, I get very, very work, you know, I get pretty excited about that slide. It is, and it's, and it's, I think that people are starting to believe that that's a, maybe a truth, you know, and they would hope that. And so we're going to talk to you guys tonight about something that you may not have heard of. And so a lot of people reject information when they've heard it for the first time. And particularly if you're dealing with patients and clients, they haven't heard anything from a traditional doctor. And they, sometimes they question what we're saying. So we, we're, we're okay with that. We know we're pioneers in this area and we're very comfortable being the pioneers. And that's kind of one of our, kind of inspires us that we're, that we're the pioneers. So we don't expect everybody to buy into what we're, that what we're saying, but we know what we know and we know, we hold it as a truth. Also, um, when you think about business and I didn't tell you guys and Lori didn't share that I'm actually a financial uh, service provider. I've been in for 30 years. I've been in the insurance industry and I've been a leader in that industry representing, um, high net worth clients and different uh, businesses for a long time and been very successful. And I've seen different opportunities come and go. And when you're in an opportunity like the wellness space right now, you are in the right place at the right time. It is the next trillion dollar industry. So that's what attracted me to, the, to this, not just as, as a user of products, but actually as, a, as, a, um, as an advocate or an ambassador, really, of this information. I feel very passionate about sharing this with people because people just don't know. They're not hearing from their doctors. So I'm excited about being a part of this. And I want to seize the, the business opportunity, too, that's in this. So I've created a business around this. And this is just one of a series. Lori's going to have a lot of different people on. But I'm just somebody who is representing this one idea. And hopefully you guys, you know, will find it interesting. Take a deep. Excuse me. Take a deep breath. Hold it. Now gently exhale. Ironically, while oxygen is necessary for all human life, it is also the element that is at the root of the aging process. That's because oxidative stress, which is a toxic level of reactive oxygen in your cells, is one of the primary causes of cell damage and the adverse effects of aging. It's almost as if your cells were slowly rusting from the inside. There's no stopping the process. As with rust, there are ways to slow it down, to inhibit the aging process, and even reverse oxidative stress. It's called nutrigenomics, the science of using nutrition and naturally occurring compounds to affect gene behavior and attack the root causes of aging. Another root cause of aging is the depletion of mitochondria in your cells as you age. Or any of your cells. Nutrigenomics delivers a one-two punch that creates stronger cells that are better equipped to fight the effects of aging. So we have a number of different videos that we can share with you guys, but um, I want to give you a sense of, of um, what nutrigenomics is. And I think, Betty, can you mute the line? I think there's a few people that are not muted. I'm trying to, uh, for some reason, my, I'm not able to mute people tonight. I'm not really sure why. Um, so if, if, I don't know if you guys know how to do that. Oh, here we go. Got it. I can do it. It's working. Okay, perfect. Terrific. Um, so, so nutrigenomics is nutrition that activates the genome. And that's, that's, that's the simplest way to, to describe it, where we're looking at foods as medicine. Because we know now with the technology that's available and the testing that's available, that they can actually predict and see what certain things are going to activate in the body that make good or bad results. And so there's certain enzymes that can be activated. And that's what really what we're going to be talking about tonight specifically is how to reduce oxidative stress in the body using nutrigenomics, which oxidative stress is that rusting in the body. And we're going to talk, and I'm going to explain that a little bit. Um, Lori, if you want to talk about why nutrigenomics to you, and I know you're using testing in, with your clients and things, what you're doing with this. And I'll just let you guys, um, I'll just give you the background on how it came to be that I had to, I actually sought out Amy so if you guys are wondering, oh, is this an MLM thing? And are they trying to sell me something? Um, 
it was not that way and that's not how it happened actually i did meet amy at the a forum meeting which is where i'm board certified and that was at the world congress in december at that world congress they had several talks on nutrigenomics they also had several talks on the nrf mechanism because there was one talk i attended that talked about inflammation and they were very specific about this nutrigenomic topic of nrf and i started doing hair analysis testing and started noticing that there was a trend in my clients and so part of the hair analysis trend that I was seeing was it would test for antioxidants. And I came across this SOD deficiency and I'm like, what the heck is an SOD deficiency? I hadn't seen that before, forgetting that I actually studied it back in 2011, but I was studying so many things in 2011, I wouldn't remember that. And so I started researching. So for a whole weekend, I just engrossed myself in PubMed, MedWatch, Google Scholar, Scholar Google, whatever it is. And I started looking all over what is SOD deficiency. And SOD deficiency led me to the mechanism to fix it, which is the NRF2 um, enzymatic pathway. And because of that, I started researching how I'm gonna find the solution and how I'm gonna find that for my client that I was uh, working with at the time. And that's when I called Amy because I discovered that the NRF2 mechanism was um, one of the products that Amy had been uh, teaching me about back in December at the meeting in Las Vegas. And so when we look at enzymatic reactions and we talk about nutrigenomics, and this is what becomes really fascinating to me, is traditional doctors treat, if you think about it as, as a tree, they treat the leaves of the tree. So basically we're just treating the leaves of the tree, we're treating the symptoms, everybody's got their subspecialties, everybody's doing their own thing. And that's fine. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to treat it from the actual cellular level, the very root. Because if we fix the root, then everything that grows from the root, even the leaves included, is going to be fixed as well. And that's what nutrigenomics really does is we take nutrients, we take food as medicine, we take the right supplements that are going to drive these enzymatic reactions in our body, and we can, we can actually fix broken DNA by bridging the gaps. So if there is a is if there's a hole in that DNA to where it's not able to connect and it can't get through and you can't get that optimal health because something's missing or if it's free radical damage that's causing it, what we do is we can add an enzyme, a cofactor, we can add a nutrient that's gonna help us jump over the top. And if we can jump over the top, we can get that optimal health and wellness and really that anti-aging spectrum. And so that's what nutrigenomics really is to me. It's, it is, we can reverse the damage that we've done through sometimes bad habits in our lifetime, but we can really start changing the cellular damage that's done really deep within. Yeah, and that's this slide too, is, which is a lot of practitioners are going into personalized nutrition, which I have someone who I was working with to help me try to healing from the Lyme disease, just looking at different diets that I should try. So I went from all different, you know, paleo to vegan to, I mean, I was trying macrobiotic, I was doing everything to try to get rid of the inflammation. And, and there's a reason for that, because everyone's body is a little bit different. And again, if you had a DNA test, and you knew certain foods that were good and not good for you based on your, um, your ability to make certain enzymes, which in my case, um, as Lori was talking about SOD, which is superoxide dismutase, that's a very powerful um, fighter of free radicals. It's the most powerful in the human body. And so, but my body doesn't make that in my liver and my kidney. And I knew that because I had a DNA test done. So my doctor told me that I needed to eat a lot of cruciferous vegetables and a lot of ginger and a lot of um, turmeric and things like that. And so this was 15 years ago before we were even having the conversation of nutrigenomics. I had a doctor out in Arizona that was helping me to try to just heal with food. So this has been around for a while, but now they can actually show how the genes get signaled through different, um, through different foods. So it's very exciting. And, you know, here's the bottom line, you guys, is the oxidative stress is what for me and most people, every mammal obviously has oxidative stress. We're breathing in oxygen that causes oxidative damage in the body. It's just like if you took a bicycle and you left it outside, it rusts. If you took an apple and you cut it in half, it rots, it rusts. That's, that's from oxidative damage. And it causes most diseases in the human body. And most doctors are not talking about oxidative stress. They don't even bring it up because there really hasn't been a way to reduce it other than taking vitamins and changing your diet. And then trying to get away from all the toxins, which you know, are the root cause really of 
making oxidative stress much worse than it used to be. And so that's why there are over 150,000 peer-reviewed published studies at the National Institutes of Health. It's one of the fastest growing areas of research at the pubmed.gov website, which is really where all the peer-reviewed studies are for all the science that's going on all over the world. This is one of the fastest growing areas is how to study oxidative stress as it's related to other diseases and how to reduce it. Because if you can reduce oxidative stress, you're going to be able to pre prevent disease in the human body. That's a and big that, deal. That's what I was actually just looking because I was like, oh, I have all the, the information from my, my board certification. Um, some of the diseases related to oxidative stress, like Amy was saying, that you can find if you find the 150,000 articles. Obviously, it's not going to be hard to find the information. But here's some, some of the clinical conditions that are associated with free radicals. Uh, Parkinson's, uh, Alzheimer's, neurotoxins, aluminum overload. You can have ocular hemorrhages in your eyes, cataracts, retinopathies. You can have atherosclerosis, uh, cardiovascular disease, acute respiratory distress, distress syndrome in your lungs, autoimmune disorders, rheumatoid arthritis, um, MS, and it goes on and on and on. And all of those begin with oxidative damage. Exactly. And then with the toxic soup that we live in, you guys, with all the pollution, all that's causing free radical damage, way more than it used to. And the pesticides and the foods, the fungicides, the way everything's grown, the, the preservatives, the additives, and genetically modified foods, we cannot avoid, really. I mean, they're everywhere. Even in some of the organic stuff, we're finding now that the, even the seeds and stuff, they don't even, it's hard to even get heirloom seeds anymore. Um, everything's been, you know, genetically modified. I mean, they're saying now that really everything is genetic. There's nothing that's really natural anymore. Um, and then you've got all the electromagnetic frequencies from the cell phones. I mean, I live on this thing. I'm like, ah, you know, I'll take mine. And so, you know, I don't know about you guys, but when it gets hot on this side of my head, I go over to this side and I go, oh, well, do is this heat like my ear sweats? <laughs> it's like, you know, it's crazy what we're doing to ourselves. And again, it's breaking, breaking down um, and just mutating as Lori was saying mutating our our DNA just the fabric of who we are and when I I know I've had live blood cell tests and I've also had I used to get so many blood tests done just because they always want it with Lyme disease they don't really know how to fix it so they want you to test you all the time so they're constantly putting you through these different blood tests and they, my my cell looked like this ravaged cell over here I mean that's what they look like that's what all my cells look like and now they look like normal cells and we're going to give you the secret the magic secret, <laughs> that's your why, to, but because I've really been able to reduce oxidative stress. So I don't know if you want to talk about this, Lori, but. No, the one, the, a couple of things um, as it pertains to this, this slide and the one before it, when we talked about the toxic soup and all the things that we're exposed to, also going back to what I said when I first opened up and said that one of the things that I had was that was debilitating was toxic mold syndrome. And so being a survivor of toxic mold syndrome, which is highly oxidative, it's highly free radical forming and highly inflammatory. It's something that was just, it was rusting my body from within. So mycotoxin poisoning will, ox, will actually also cause oxidative damage as well as the Lyme disease. You know, those kind of toxins will cause also free radical damage and rusting from within. When you, if you, some of you guys are health coaches that are online, some of you are, are, are patients of, you know, of mine or related, uh, however you may be, the easiest way to explain it though is I love the apple analogy. It's, it's, you cut an apple in half and what happens when you let it lay out? It starts turning brown. Well, that's what's happening to our bodies. We're, we're browning from the inside. We're rusting from the inside out and we can reverse this and that's what's the coolest thing is now we can reverse this yes we can and um so again this is this is kind of the all the different things that cause that dna damage so even younger people like i have a 16 year old son and a lot of these um a lot of people when they when they think about how how can i help my kids and you know how can i how can i you know keep them healthy and you're not really thinking about their dna is, is mutating because of the you know, the mac and cheese and all the crap that the kids are eating and that they're also living in the toxic soup and they have the cell phones and they have all this stuff around them and they are mutating their DNA just by, by virtue of, of just being in the, in the environment that we're in. And so they need this stuff too. They need to think about these things too, because they're going to be passing on this DNA to, you know, generations to come. And so I feel really, you know, excited about 
the possibility that we can reverse all this stuff as we're getting older, but we can also help our kids not have the same problems. Uh, this slide too, I think is really interesting because it does show you the formation of free radicals and all the different things that we're exposed to. Yes, cell phones are really bad. And that's one of the things when I do like hair analysis testing for my clients too, it does look at cell phone exposure and if that's where a lot of your toxicity is coming from. And so I always make sure that people are drinking lots of good ionized water, you know, taking calcium will actually help protect it. Shut your Wi-Fi off before you go to bed. There's things you can do to actually protect yourself, but smoking is one of those incredible ones. And I know I've, Amy's heard this story before, but I have clients coming in and they need my help. I, I had one lady who showed up last week who saw the best top doctors in LA. She was being treated because her skin was falling off and she's 80, she's actually 81. Her skin was falling off and no one could give her any answers. They even started her on Accutane. If you guys know what Accutane is, it's probably the worst thing possible you could get put on. It's high dose vitamin A and it causes extreme photosensitivity, but this lady already was in extreme pain and it's been going on for five months. She's a smoker. So I can't do anything about her disease process when we know that she's forming free radicals like crazy because she's a smoker. So I had to find also, this was another one of those, those situations for me where I have to find a solution for somebody like this who is not going to change their lifestyle habits, just like my dad who's a survivor of two heart attacks and started smoking again, um, that I have to find solutions for these people who doesn't, don't, don't want to change their habits. And so if you have smokers and you know smokers, this is something at least you can do to give them a little bit of preventative medicine um, to help them form their own antioxidants from within so that they're kind of combating that smoking that they're giving themselves um, damage as well every single time they smoke a cigarette. So just know that we're, we are exposed to this constantly. Yeah, so right now we're going to show you an ABC News report with John Quinones. He's a 10-time Emmy Award-winning investigative reporter that researched this. This is a breakthrough about 11 years ago that this started. So we're going to share this with you first, then we're going to talk to you a little bit about, a little bit more about this. Tonight on ABC's Primetime Live, co-anchor John Quinones takes the promising antioxidant therapy called Potandum. It's not a drug. It's a, it's a supplement. It's uh, called Potandum, and it's a combination of five exotic plants that have been around for centuries. Quinones has been taking Potandum for two weeks now and tells Extra... I am sleeping better. I feel a lot better uh, and, and also energized when I do wake up. Primetime puts Potandum to the test tonight. You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. Granted, it's down the road, but some scientists are wondering if a new pill I took might offer a very long life. Inside this nondescript building, I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment. I'm here at the University of Colorado in Denver to meet Dr. Joe McCord, a world-renowned scientist. This is a pretty exciting stuff you find, huh? It is. We're very excited about it. His latest research could very well unravel the mystery of aging itself. And as decades of experiments may have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill, and for me, it begins with a blood test. They want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. Bad for the body, leading to disease, leading to disease and leading to malfunction, and importantly, leading to what we call aging. It is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress. That's the main characteristic biochemically of the aging process. The problem of aging begins with the very food we eat to give us energy. As our cells burn that food, they also release toxic chemicals. Those chemicals, you may know them as free radicals, react with all the components of our cells, literally bombarding them millions of times per second, damaging all our cells. The result, 
oxidative stress, and we all have it. And so, here I go. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. It's called Protanda, and tests on both mice and humans have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. Right now, all we know is that this preparation decreases oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is not a disease, just like aging is not in itself a disease, but it's something that accompanies and is attached to, to many disease processes. Have you discovered the fountain of youth? We may have uh, discovered something that will tell us a lot more about how we age, what happens biochemically, and maybe how we can slow it down. And so you can see the age-related. Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. But in Dr. McCord's tests, taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. They all are reduced to the level of oxidative stress that one would expect, frankly, in a, in a newborn or a very young child. Back to the oxidative stress levels of a child? It sounds too good to be true. Will Potanda work on me? The scientific evidence is there. The pieces seem to make sense. The question is, does this translate into something that humans can take advantage of? So just what's in this seemingly incredible pill? Well, actually, its roots are very humble. <laughs> Protandum is a combination of five plant ingredients. Some you may know, green tea or turmeric, a spice used in Indian cooking. Others, with Thania somnifera and Salivum marianum, are more exotic. There's a huge human experience with each of these ingredients. Uh, they've been used often in traditional medicine in India and China and uh, many other cultures. In some cases, centuries and centuries. And so, ancient Eastern healing and modern Western medicine may soon be working together. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases. Liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma. Uh, uh, I've studied all of these. Strokes, heart attacks, even mental disease. Yes, depression. Alzheimer's disease, depression. We make no claims about curing any disease or preventing any disease. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. Dr. McCord calculates the numbers. The result, my level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%, that's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph, before and after which if extrapolated back is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Have we turned back the clock? Well, maybe not on the outside, but deep inside within my cells. Yes, indeed. The company that makes Protandum says its tests show the pill made from ingredients used for centuries is absolutely safe. So I, I, I should be keeping track of how many times I watched that. <laughs> It's a lot, okay. I, I have a whole. I have the whole thing memorized. I could do a whole. I don't even need the slides. I could just talk. But um, I'm going to move this over so you guys can see this. Um, so this is my favorite slide. Yeah, this, this is this is amazing because once you understand, and the hair already stands up my arms. The reason that 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 product got launched, Dr. McCord was the discoverer in 1964 of something called SOD, and you're seeing that on the top of that pyramid. SOD is the most powerful enzyme that the body produces to neutralize free radicals at a rate of 1 million to 1. And you see that. Prevent cell damage and catalytic effect. One molecule of antioxidant neutralizes a million free radicals per second every second. That's when your body makes its own antioxidant enzyme, which is what SOD is. It's the most powerful in the human body. Dr. McCord was the one that discovered that in, in, when he was getting his PhD at Duke University. So he's, his whole career, he's been working on how do I activate, how do we activate SOD? If you can activate that naturally, this is going to be the mother load of all disease prevention in the human body. So he'd been working on that, and he ended up working with this company and, and coming up with his product 12 years ago. And so way before, like people even understood really about plant-based medicine, and all this stuff is starting to emerge now. I mean, it's really sped up in the last 12 years. So this information, when that show aired, really wasn't anything that anyone understood. 
And so we're still pioneering this. You know, this is why, as I was saying earlier, there's a lot of people that aren't going to understand this stuff. But we're okay with that. We just, one person at a time, are sharing this information. So these, these enzymes, SOD, catalase, and glutathione, those are all activated by that product, Protandum because it activates something called NRF2. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that as we go into the slides. But then there's the direct antioxidants below, at the bottom of the pyramid, are ones that you take, that people would take like directly, vitamins, CoQ10, you know, all your vitamins and minerals, and then your foods that you're eating are gonna neutralize one free radical for every one molecule of antioxidant that you consume. And we'll put that into perspective because I'll give you that, that example of what I dealt with two years ago when, when I had toxic mold. Toxic mold, again, very, very inflammatory. It is autoimmune in nature. I tested positive for rheumatoid arthritis, actually a very high level of rheumatoid factor. So it was attacking my body at a very, very fast rate. And at the time, we didn't know what it was that was attacking my body because we couldn't find what the toxin was. What I needed for that huge amount of inflammation was glutathione, and I needed it in massive doses. And, and Amy heard me tell the story last time. So when I got glutathione, I had to have high, high dose, which cost me roughly about $300 a month just in glutathione. Now, glutathione, when you take that orally, it degrades in your stomach acid very quickly. So a lot of it doesn't make its way to you um, like it should. And like she was saying, it's one-to-one. One one molecule of glutathione will break down one free radical. Well, that's not doing much good. And it also comes in IV form. So you can do an IV glutathione drip, which is very expensive as well. And you have to go to a doctor's office and have it hooked up and do it intravenously. And so in order to do that, it's really, really expensive to get that much glutathione, but you desperately need it when your body is attacking itself and getting that inflamed and that, that type of disease process. And so we have to find ways to get more glutathione without actually having to take it orally or putting in um, an IV so that we're getting it in that mechanism as well. Yeah, so activating it naturally in the body is the answer. It's the way that it's going to work and it's going to be long, it's going to have a long-term effect. Um, it's, like a, it's like a careening effect. The more you have of these enzymes, the more it's cleaning everything up and it just continues to, to do more good. And so with the, with the ProTandem, and we're going to talk about a couple other products too. I mean, we're going to show one specifically, but there are a number of products on the market today that are, that are called NRF2 activators. And the whole purpose of them is to reduce oxidative stress and to activate these enzymes. Because without activating NRF2, you're not going to be able to turn these these enzymes on, that's, what, that's the mechanism of the switching system, the enzy enzymatic signaling agent. And the superoxide dismutase, catalase, and, and glutathione are all increased significantly with this particular product. And the oxidative stress is reduced, which is, which is amazing. But by taking one pill, and it's all natural, and the reason that, that, that it works this way is, like I was saying, is the NRF2 expression. That's a protein. There's, you guys, there's a lot of proteins that you're going to be hearing more and more about. The NRF2 is, is the most important one in terms of protecting the cells from free radical damage. That's, that's the way to protect the cells. So um, then there's others that protect other parts of the body. There's an NRF1, and we're going to be doing a segment on that, and that's protecting and preserving the mitochondria which is the little energy powerhouses. They have their own DNA, and so now they know they can switch that DNA on to protect and regenerate mitochondria, which represents 95% of the energy that our body makes. So that's something that we're really excited about. So you're gonna hear about more of these proteins that, that bind to DNA. They bind to that, that, that DNA that Lori was talking about, where sometimes they have to jump over things, and it activates certain things, and in this case, the NRF2 is activating the indirect antioxidants that your body produces, and those are the SOD, the glutathione, and the catalase, which are the most important things to have activated to protect the body from cellular stress. And then they also, um, the NRF2 also activates other genes that are um, responsible for causing disease in the body, and it actually turns, they're like little dimmer switches that you can turn down. So you can actually look at studies on this particular product, ProTandem, we can give you um, some information that has to do research. We can also send you the studies. There's 18 published studies. But essentially, it also shows how certain disease genes associated with diseases can get turned down. 
for like Alzheimer's and cardiovascular disease and things like that. So it's really powerful information that, you know, Lori really wanted you guys to have, you know, she and I are working together on this. This is just one piece of her business. Um, but again, we don't want to beat a dead horse, but the one-to-one, -one, that's what we're disrupting. The one-to-one -one is when you go into CVS or vitamin shop, all that stuff that's in there, those are all one-to-one. -one. That is like game over. One-to-one, -one, why would you do one-to-one -one if you could do a million-to-one? I mean, there's vitamin, no... Vitamin C would be a one-to-one. -one. So if you're taking vitamin C, which you know is an antioxidant. Resveratrol, if you're drinking your wine, that's a one-to-one. -one. So that's what you're getting from that. And so we just have to know that we, we want to get way more benefit, but also we want to be more cost-effective in how we're getting into the body heat. I don't know anybody else who wants to spend $300 a month on just glutathione by itself. And also, I did you mention that it took 120 days for that 300% increase in glutathione? Yeah, yeah the 100. So the, the protandum, with this nerve 2 activation, it's pulsatile. So what that means is it goes on, and then it goes back off again, and then it goes on, and it goes back off. So you have to take it every day. You don't want to overactivate this pathway because you do need a balance in the body of oxidation. So this is something that comes on and it's got like a half life of like, I think like seven hours or something, then it goes back off again. Then it goes back on the next day and then it goes back off. So you're, you're, going to have to, you're going to have to take it over time and then as things get cleaned up, it starts to actually really make some significant benefits and boost these enzymes further from when they started. The original test was a 30-day trial to see on the reducing the oxidative stress and then they continued this was human study that was done and then there are other there are other studies as well and we're going to talk about that in a minute but this is this is the reason that um this is the this is disrupting this whole antioxidants because of this million to one you probably because you've been doing um the nrf a lot longer than i have have heard the testimonials and comments from other people but i've been doing this web series this is our third time doing the same the same exact talk because we tried to give it, you know, three different times for people's convenience. But I did have some people email me uh, when they knew that it was Protandum and they gave me specific examples of how it's changed their life as far as I had one lady who said she had rheumatoid arthritis that it's helped her tremendously with her rheumatoid um, and her symptoms with that, which, you know, that's autoimmune. And so basically a lot of inflammation as well. And so another person, um, obviously my, my lady whose skin was falling off is doing really well. And that was just, that's just a short period, but um, she's feeling really, really good. So I, I like, well, I like to hear these things when, when people are doing exceptionally well, but I did find a trend because when I was doing the hair testing and I've done at least 70 hair tests now, and I'm finding that the people who have the SOD deficiency, and this is just a little pearl, especially because I know there's a lot of wellness coaches online right now. Um, when I am seeing the trends I'm seeing of people who are SOD deficient, Amy being one who had her blood tested, so she knows she's not making it. And that was Lyme disease. And also, you know, probably a genetic thing. But the people that I've seen it with was dementia, Alzheimer's. I saw SOD deficiency with that in a couple people. Um, I saw it in Parkinson's. I saw it in two toxic mold patients. And so you can see kind of there is a trend with the people who have an SOD deficiency. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I think that there's probably... If you te are you testing every single person that comes in, Lori, with the with this with your hair snip hair analysis? Most of the clients that I have come in actually start with the hair test, okay. and so we just kind of look at their nutrient deficiencies based off of epigenetic hair follicle testing, right. which is a really good way to find. It's your roadmap. Your hair is a great roadmap of your nutrition, and it's pretty spot on. And so, and then when I have people who do blood tests with different things, I can kind of compare it. And right. I noticed, too, like the lady um, from LA from last week, I had her blood test as well and was able to see that, you know, with her hair test, there was a lot of things showing me that there was some sort of inflammation going on. And then I got her actual blood test from Cleveland Clinic and she had super high CRP levels showing very high levels of inflammation. Right. So we knew there was an inflammatory process going on and she was a false positive rheumatoid factor which shows as a toxic mold patient, which her hair showed toxic mold. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So we're just, we're going to share with you a couple. There's another product that's come out. There's a few out there on the market now. And because I've been going to Lyme disease conferences and also some of the anti-aging, these are not anti-aging aesthetic conferences. These are medical conferences like stem cell and all the emerging science around longevity. And um, there are some products coming out now 
that are, they're saying are NERF2, NRF2 activators, because now there's a new category. Now, this was discovered in 1994 by a Japanese scientists, and it is the pathway, it is the signaling agent to turn on SOD. It, is the, it, it's, it has to be the, activated with NRF2. So this is a big deal, and there's going to be a lot of money thrown into the research on this, because now it's becoming real. They can actually back this up with science, that this stuff actually works. So now we have Dr. Perlmutter, who came out with a, a, a NERF2 activating formula with a company called Zymogen. Very, very good vitamin company, pharmaceutical grade vitamin company, who I have bought many products from over the years. My doctor uses them. And he's a very renowned neurologist working with Parkinson's patients. And he used to be involved with the company that developed ProTandem. And he still, he still, from what I understand, he still takes ProTandem, even though he has his own Nerf 2 activator. He doesn't have any of the studies. We have, he's still friends with Dr. McCord. And, you know, listen, he probably takes his pill too. I mean, you know, maybe it's not going to hurt, but. He's the guy who wrote Grain Brain. If you yeah, guys and Brain Maker. And, yeah, he's a New York Times bestseller. He's a big deal right now. And he's also now the chief science officer of Zymogen. So he got a job there, which, um, you know, was probably kind of fun. But they do about $60 million a year total in sales, the Zymogen platform. They probably have, you know. 40 different vitamins that they sell in supplements. Life Vantage that makes Protanum does 200 million a year in just the, pretty much the Protanum is their main product, although they have some other products now. So um, they used to be, the, the, the Protanum was in, was in a retail uh, model from, for about six years, from the time they started in 04 through, um, through about to the end of 2009. And it just wasn't really successful when it was in stores because people didn't understand what it was. And it was very expensive. And, you know, it was plants. It's, it's, it's five plants, and I'll tell you about that. But So the company almost went out of business. It's a, it's a publicly traded company trading on the NASDAQ. The stock's trading at just under $14 right now. It's a very interesting stock if you guys like to follow stocks. But the ticker symbol is L as in Larry, F as in Frank, V, Victor, and Nancy. The stock's just Wall Street saying it's going to double in the next six months. So it's kind of an interesting thing that's going on. Finally, this company is getting some traction and because there are now other companies and people like Perlmutter talking about this. So now it's like, you know, it's timing's everything. We all know that. You know, we know this sector is expanding. But so what's really cool is that they're actually, this is one of the very few companies that are specifically targeting nutrigenomics as one of their specialties because even... I'm like I said again. I went. I'm board certified through the anti aging, which again, like Amy said, that's not aesthetics. It's very intense. It was a fellowship I did, metabolic medicine. It was it was very hard to pass the test, and I sat alongside board certified doctors doing this that were actually MDs, um, cardio cardiologists. We had neurologists. There was a lot of people getting board certified taking the same exact test I did. So it, it's it's pretty intense training, but there's not a lot of companies who are specifically going into something as technical as nutrigenomics. And that's why I, I, for me, I was seeking out Amy and I was seeking out the companies because I wanted something that worked at the really cellular level. And because I am a brainiac, a very big time science nerd, and I really want to get to the bottom of problems. And so when I do things like these webinars for you guys and teach other pharmacists how to do these things, I want to give you guys solutions. It's not just about, let me find a whole bunch of problems for you. Oh, we got free radical damage. What are we going to do about it? I want to give you solutions. But I want to give you solutions that are going to be easy for you to do. And you really have access to the best solutions. Because I have to tell you, you know, at the A4M, just as that, that platform, they have the leading, um, the leading science and research in the world. And it's very expensive to exhibit at that. So even small companies. Expensive to go. <laughs> it was very expensive to go. You need exhibitors $10,000 just to put a booth up. It's very expensive. So it's, you know, and there's 300 booths there. I mean, that's, it's really, it's amazing. I would definitely encourage um, anyone to go to that. Um, I think it's, I don't, I don't know exactly how much it costs, but you do have to be invited to go, but we could. You know, it's, um, I think it's right around 750, but if you pre-register, $750 to go. But if you pre-register, like in the summer, it's like around, I think I paid like 400 before I went. And it was three days of amazing, amazing speakers. Um, they have great keynote speakers. And they're always people who are the big top dogs in natural medicine. They are. They are. And that would be a good thing for you to put on your blog that you send out to people's information. Yeah. 
because I think it is something. And so um, just to give you just a little more validation of what, what the direction of this is, some of the largest um, pharmaceutical companies in the world are researching this, NRF2, and they actually have product out on the market now. There's one from a company called Biogen, which is Tecfidera. It's a um, multiple sclerosis drug, and it's an NRF2, nerve 2 activator. And so we know... We, because we're, we're really, I mean, I'm, this is what I'm doing now. I mean, I'm spending the last three years on this. And I, I gave up my, I retired from my insurance business to just be a part of this because I feel that this is such a big opportunity. And it's, I have over, I have a $20 million business already in this. And I'm not, I've never done any kind of business like this before. I, I sell life insurance. Okay. That's what I've been doing for 30 years. And all of a sudden now I'm, you know, I'm not running around selling little yellow pills, but I'm telling the story to as many people as I can because this is an incredible opportunity to help people and also to um, to help yourself financially because it's we're 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 in the market with the big boys and nobody knows really who we are. You know, it's still a really a little bit of a secret. So um, this five herbs. It's uh, milk thistle, which is supports the liver, and that's been used for thousands of years. Bacopa, which I know, Laura, you've been researching like crazy, um, which is helps increase SOD and also has improves mental function. Green tea, which you know, I mean you know, proven to help in a number of ways. Turmeric, which is supposedly could be labeled as anti-cancer, you guys, now. And, uh, of course, nobody's going to let that happen in the United States because we don't want to um, – there's a lot of new cancer wings going up in hospitals around here, but I'm sure they don't want to shut those down. Um, and then ashwagandha, which is incredible adaptogen, which is used for sexual vitality, brain function. And so – but it's the synergy of these together – that make it 18 times more powerful. And I know that some of the other products that are being developed, it's the same, that science is how do we put these things together and then see how they activate the NRF2 pathway. And that's the most important thing. It's not just how good these ingredients are individually. As I just stated, each of these things individually really is somewhat irrelevant. It's what they do when they're put together to activate the NRF2 pathway. And how powerful is that? That's what we care about because that's going to turn on SOD, glutathione, and catalase. So when people say, oh, I can just take these individually, I have so many different doctors, healthcare practitioners, herbologists, traditional Chinese medicine doctors are all prescribing a lot of these. But it's, but it's, the, it's the kind of chemistry that puts this together, and it's just one pill. So it's they're very small amounts of those. Very low dosages. Very low dosages. And so I had somebody just contacted me yesterday and said, well, I take all of these by themselves. And, you know, I'm not getting the same results. Well, that's exactly what Amy just said. You're not going to get the same results because you're not doing it in the right synergistic manner. Obviously, lots of your research went into putting the perfect formulation together of this. And so we don't know what the amounts are, but it's the right amount. So, um, you yeah, know, that, that's... We could actually, we do now know, they actually are telling us now, just so you know. Okay. <clears throat> if you read the patents, they have, they have 11 patents on this now. For the composition, which is not easy to get, Dr. McCord had to really work hard to get these patents. It took years, but also because it reduces inflammatory markers in the body. So there were a couple of things, dynamics coming together, but it was the synergy of these. But they did show all the different ingredients that they tried and had different activations. So, you know, there's a, there's a lot of ways this can be put together. <clears throat> this particular ratios was the one that just hit the jackpot and reduced the oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days and 70% in 120 days in humans. And this is, um, this is a follow-up to what we just talked about, the nerve 2 activating power of protandum versus the other most studied nerve 2 activators in the market right now, which the protandum is natural. It's all natural raw ingredients, which I just told you, and that shows that nerve 2 activation. And then look at number D, in the far bottom right hand side is sulforaphane. That is broccoli extract, broccoli sprout extract, which is a brassica, which is a very potent NERF2 activator. And it's the one that's studied the most. So when you start researching NRF2 activation, and you can go on PubMed and look at all the studies there, most of them are using sulforaphane because it's the one that's, it's just one ingredient. And that you can buy it from a company called Brassica LLC which was um, started by Johns Hopkins University Research Center. So we'll, we'll look at the difference between the protandum and the sulforaphane. These other two are drugs. This one under number C, letter C, dimethylfumarate, that's Tecfidera. That's that multiple sclerosis drug. 
And look at that. It's got no, no, the very low NERF2 activation compared to the ProTandem. And they were actually, they used the ProTandem. Biogen, which is the company that manufactures that, used the ProTandem in their studies because it was the only other NERF2 activator that they could prove was as powerful as what, you know, was the most powerful out there. So, you know, it's not just the, the company that has the studies. It's, it's these, um, you know, third-party researchers. And then this Bardoxolone, that was from Riata Pharmaceutical. That still has not been approved. And that is for kidney disease, renal, and um, um, I don't know what the category is, but it's kidney disease. And that still has so many side effects. But the point is, you guys, there's hundreds of millions of dollars that are being put into this type of research. And we know we have this silly little $40 a month pill, okay, that's the most powerful. And pharma is scrambling to try to find something that's equivalent because that they know that there there's a gold mine for them because that's what pharma does. Yeah. But if we can do it naturally, that's how we'd rather do it. So I, yeah. I'd rather do it this way. Oh, of course. And it's just so much easier on the body too. And it's only $40. The Tech Federa is $50,000 a year to get that. It's a $3 billion a year drug in sales already. It's a huge, huge success. It's very powerful. It works really, really well. It has low side effects, but it's $50,000 a year and insurance doesn't pay for it. So if you go to pubmed.gov, you can find, see there's just some of the ProTandem studies just to give you like a snapshot cardiovascular disease, um, it, it, it's good for heart cells, um, preserving heart cells, um, pulmonary hypertension, which is a huge problem, obviously. Um, you guys, it goes on and on and on. There's, there's uh, this bottom one, attenuates intimal hyperplasia. It reduces um, saphenous vein thickening. So when somebody has cardiovascular surgery and they have to take a, a vein out of a leg and turn it into an artery, it has much more oxygen and pressure in that situation than it would being a vein in the leg. So it, it gets occlusion and it gets, it gets thickened. It gets scar tissue. Well, if they bathe that vein in protandum and give it the same conditions of the oxygen pressure they would have in the heart, there's no scarring. So that's just a study that was done and that was actually published in Circulation Magazine, which is the American Heart Association magazine. It's the first time they've ever published a study on a branded supplement. And that was about six years ago. So, I mean, there's just, it's crazy, this stuff. It's the, the stuff that we have to talk about. So it's very exciting. And um, so, you know, we don't, we're not really, we're not really talking about, because Lori, you know, we don't, we don't want to go into this whole business thing, but um, I have to just say, and I, we haven't even talked about the slide in, in any of the other sessions, but because of where I'm at, I was with a group this morning, a medical group this morning, and I have to tell you, a lot of people are really frustrated in the industries that they're in, and they want to have another way to help people and this is just a way to do it and it's also a way to help yourself from a revenue perspective so we're not getting into the business at all um, we're not going to talk about that today if you guys are interested in learning more about how to get protana more of the science anything you want we're, we're totally here to educate you guys there's no attachment to any result whatsoever um, but we do have an incredible business as i said it's it's amazing and this is a statistic right here 10 new millionaires are going to be created in the next 10, 10 million new millionaires in the next 10 years. So if you guys are all in the health and wellness space, that's where they're going to be made. That's where those 10 new millionaires are going to come from or is in the sector that you're in. The question is, how are you going to capitalize on that? Where are you going to monetize the value that you're bringing to the table? Are you going to do it one person at a time? By helping one person at a time, or are you going to help millions of people at a time? which is what I decided I wanted to be a part of. Instead of just having me be helped with my Lyme disease, I wanted to be helped as many people as possible, which is why I've been going to all those symposiums and sharing this. And people are blown away by this. This is not, you know, this is not hooey pooey medicine, but it is because it's indirect sales now, it has a lot of skepticism around it. And it has no, there's no logic to that because it really is real. It just happens to be a better mousetrap to sell it in, so. I don't know if you want to add anything to that, Lori, but um, just just one of the bottom lines too is is for me because I'm a clinician is I want to find better solutions again for me and my clients to help them feel better. That's like the, at the end of the day, I'm the person who's behind the scenes working hours and hours and hours and researching because if I can't, I I want to find answers for people. I want to find answers of what's going to make that person better. What's going to, how can I possibly reverse that disease process that's happening in that person? 
you know, if her skin's falling off and, and it means I have to meet them in my office because they're driving in from LA and I know this person's desperate for help, I'm going to go do that. So that's what, that's what drives me is finding solutions that are the best for them. But also I know there's a lot of health coaches on here. And when you leave a $200,000 a year job like I did to walk away because of ethics, because I felt like I wasn't doing the right thing, and I, to do something that is the right thing, sometimes you have to worry about your income stream, and it gets really, really stressful. So when you're a health coach, the money is not the same as when you're working for big pharma. Big difference. So that's why I search for things like affiliate programs. This is kind of a nice affiliate program that started in pharmacies. And I know there's a couple of people on here that are pharmacists that are doing kind of the same thing, wellness warriors like me who are doing integrative pharmacy, functional pharmacy, whatever it is that they call it. And so we're all trying to do the same thing, but you got to have an income stream to support yourself so you can be there tomorrow and know that your bills are paid. You can be there tomorrow to help the next person who desperately walks in your office and needs you today. And that's, that's kind of my driving force is I have to find ways to where it's going to be supportive, it's going to be residual, and it's going to build so that I can continue to show up in my office and be there the next day for people who need me because I've got a lot to offer the world, just like all of you guys do. We've got a lot to offer for clients. Um, we're very educated, and we give a different perspective that traditional people that are trained in medicine don't have. And so sometimes we are, we are the providers that offer the last resort. After everything else is exhausted, they come to our office. And that's traditionally what happens with, with people who are in integrative um, medicine. So that's, that's kind of, you know, I have my little soapbox that I do. So get a little passionate about my stuff. <laughs> it's wonderful. I mean, you're a great role model and you're, you're an inspiration and you're a smart businesswoman because it's, you're not going to help anybody if you're broke. You can't heal the world. You can't heal yourself beautiful if you don't have any money. I mean, it's the truth, and it's a, it's a tough conversation to have with people, but it's one that's... I don't want to go back to eating hot dogs and ramen. I'm just, <laughs> I, you know what? I was writing my book, and I'm, I'm trying to, to get my book proposal ready to go, and I just realized as I was looking at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I used to eat ramen and hot dogs. No wonder why my gut is so bad. <laughs> that's scary. That's so, scary. <laughs> you have to make enough money so I can still go buy my organic zucchini and, and uh, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things, you know. Absolutely. Not a Chewbacca mask like that lady has. I, oh, I, my I, gosh. I want my zucchini and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I really banned that. I didn't want to watch that because I don't really want to go there why I didn't want to watch it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you privately, but. That Chewbacca thing was just killing me that that went viral. I don't know if you guys all saw that, but anyway. It just, Chewbacca mask lady was pretty funny. It was very mask. funny, but it was just like, I, I, again, I don't want to be rude or anything, but it was just, I, I was, it was the reason that we need to take ProTandem every day, okay? <laughs> it really was. I was like, so, um, well, thank you, Lori, for having me. And, you know, this is the last of this group series. Um, we're going to be doing some more. And I, I just want to make myself available if anybody wants to learn more about this and, you know, how I'm building a business completely out of the, you know, nooks and crannies in my life while I'm still running around selling life insurance. Um, I'm still doing that a little bit because I can't help myself because I love it. But, um, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm available to do a training or just go through like how I'm building this business and maybe more about the science and we can get into the specific studies and stuff like that. Whatever you want to do, I'm available to you guys. And so thank, thank you. I appreciate that very, very much, Amy, for offering your business. She's, she's been an awesome mentor. Whenever I needed something, she's right there for me and is helping me educate lots of people about this and not sounding all MLM because I told her, I said, first and foremost, I don't want to do that because I'm not, I'm very, very adamant about that. But if you guys want to contact me, I've got, you know, there's to other topics I want to cover through the series we want it where we were talking also that we probably want to try to surprise you, um, other further series down the road, maybe with some really cool guests um, to have them come in. Some people maybe that are big dogs in the world of, of natural medicine. That would be kind of fun to pop in on our little webinars, which could very well happen because that happened last Friday yeah. on one of our webinars. So we kind of had a VIP on that one and somebody noticed that. So you'll, you never know what could happen and, and who could show up. <laughs> But you guys can get a hold of me. My, my contact information is there. That is my cell phone. 
Um, if this is something that you want to start in your life and get started on, on Protandem, I am doing a lot of digestive wellness, and Amy knows this as well. That's one of my specialties is digestive wellness and weight loss. But the digestive wellness piece, um, when I'm working with people, they've got leaky gut and highly inflammatory conditions in their, in their guts. We do a lot of food intolerance testing on them. But this is something that I'm working on with my digestive wellness and leaky gut patients as well because that's a high amount of inflammation that's going on because of all the food intolerances. So I'm hoping that it's going to help them recover from that process and help mend faster. And that's, that's my hope just because of the literature and what it's showing and how it's showing reversals with some people with some other conditions. I'm, I'm really hopeful with it. So I, I think it's really exciting to be on the cutting edge of, of something very cool that's related to enzymatic processes and nutrigenomics. So hopefully you guys, you know, learned a little bit tonight and you were enlightened a little bit. And if you were worried about that little pill or whatever and worried about it being too product driven, now you know um, what that's all about. And, and actually too, if you're a health coach and somebody asks you about it, now you're well informed because Amy did a really good job of telling you what else is on the market. Great. Well, thanks, Lori. You guys have a beautiful evening and I hope to meet you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.